Probably this is gonna be the first and only video I record using my English language skills, which are still not very impressive. Anyway, if you find this funny, do not hesitate to laugh and please help, help yourself. I have prepared a short technology preview based on uh, what I have seen during this year conference. So let me show you some new features which we will find in newest SOLIDWORKS 2024 release, which will be available in September this year, I guess. So from the beginning, in SOLIDWORKS 2024, you can create symmetric bidirectional linear pattern with just one click. You will find also new capability for untrimmed surfaces to generate inside surfaces. A new revolve cut feature. Looks nice. Anyway, in 2024, you can flip side to cut and carve away everything outside sketch lines. Newest SOLIDWORKS introduce also automatic corner grouping. Simple corners are default to planar trim and complex corners have much more sensible treatments than ever. This release will also improve custom properties and cut lists with a choice to add a unit of measurement. And no more manually overriding. So it was mentioned on main stage. And I was quite sure it was already done in SOLIDWORKS 2000. 23 or even earlier, but probably it was my mistake, or maybe it was one of the top 10 enhancements request list, which for sure was one of the topic I was really interested about, I mean, this year top 10 list. Unfortunately, during this session of 3D Experience World 2023, I had to go to the airport and be sure next time, if there will be any next time, I had to arrange my uh, USA trip in different way. For example, starting with a conference and then visiting the, hmm, uh, I guess, Texas interior. Back to topic. In the assemblies area, we also find some useful new features like the featuring. Featuring. It is important, important to the feature assemblies or model before, before sharing it with, with anyone. And in 2024, we can create and save the featuring rules. So then we can save the workout to a the featured configuration. In SOLIDWORKS 2024, order does not matter. You can easily pick in any order you want and you still have access to all four constraint type, as you can see. And if you want to be sure that all components are fixed or fully defined, in 2024 there is a minus signal when the folder contains under constraint components. And you can use new selection tool to select flexible sub-assemblies and just by one click. And what is really cool, in SOLIDWORKS 2024 you can insert an assembly into a part. There is a lot of potential workflows with this one. For example, wiping up a quick fixture for primary structural assembly, shown on video during the demo session. Inserting this assembly into a part makes it easy to create a jig using weldments. And for sure, when assembly updates, so does a part. And one last thing. During the conference, we could, we could heard many times that cloud capabilities are really impressive this time. Or should I say, nowadays. Most often during the Platform Jones and the Lost Features demo, we had opportunities to see X-Design in browser and all those surfaces with C2 linear continuous, complete flexible dynamic analysis, also in browser, powered by Simulia, I guess, electrical semantics, robot programming and factory simulation, all connected to the cloud. Impressive, of course, if you got still stable Wi-Fi. I'm very glad having opportunity to see you in USA 
I mean some of my Facebook and Twitter followers who recognized me during the Tuesday evening event in Nashville. Matt Kilburn, Poland, good to see you, But I must say that catblog.pl website, rated from USA via Google Translate Tour, is not as bad as it could probably be. Maybe that's why in the statics of visits, entries from the USA are in a second place after the visits from Poland. Okay, that's enough for the first time, but please react, give a comment, maybe I'll decide to be back with my Polish English. There are at least some topics I wish to talk about. See ya.